Yeah, but that, that red eye flight to Miami was rough. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm glad we still did it because we got to do the uh, the Ludwig Beer Cart tournament. Yeah, the, yeah. So, so, which so, was super fun. We yeah. did the Ludwig Beer Cart, which is Mario Kart Double Dash, but you can't drive. Um, but you, you have to, to down a beer. Yeah, you have to. You, but so, you can't drive. So you, can't, <laughs> so you, you can't drink and drive because that's illegal and that's yeah. bad. Yeah. But you have to down your beer either before you start driving or any point when you stop. If you, your car has to completely stop. Yeah. So right. we really wanted to do this. And uh, Ludwig said that it would start 2 p.m. and our flight was at three. Yeah. So there was no way we could do it. So we moved it to a 9 p.m. flight so we could make it. Yeah. Right. Um, but that flight was brutal. It was horrible. Yeah, because we got to Miami at, I think it was like five or 6 a.m. 6 a.m. And then we, and that was the first day of the convention as well. So we had a signing from 1 p.m. that oh same my day. God. So we got to, luckily though, the airport and the hotel we were staying at were pretty close. It was like 20, 15, yeah. 20 minute driveway. Yeah. Uh, so we just we literally just got to yeah. Miami got to the hotel, slept for as long as yeah. we could, and then immediately head to the con. But that was still a chill con. I enjoyed that con. Yeah, Miami was a really cool place. Yeah. I thought Miami was really beautiful, mm. um, obviously. I, think I wish. I just wish we had more time to actually kind of explore Miami. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because was- I was gonna ask, because I've never been to Florida before. Mm, mm. Um, like, how was Florida in general? Did you meet Florida man? Did you meet- Luckily, no, luckily not, luckily not. <laughs> People were more chill in Florida than LA, I think. I feel like it was, yeah. Um, the food was really good. Oh we had Cuban God, food. The it was Cuban insane. restaurant was mm. insane. Cuban food is was nutty. My God, we were so fucked up. Though. We were so full. So much. It was just so much. So much and meat. We had uh, like Peruvian food another day, and that was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Peru- that hummus they made mm. was insane. Mm. Remember that Peruvian. So, food did you nuts. only stay there for the weekend of the convention? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah oh, okay, we we okay. landed on the the first day of the con, and then we left the morning of the oh, day okay. after. Yeah. So. yeah. It was good though. I mean, I, I, I'd love to go back to Miami at some point and just be a tourist. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah. But also there's a lot of old people in Miami. I did notice that. Yeah. It wasn't as young as I thought it would be, but I guess it's a lot of old people retiring. I guess, mm-hmm. yeah. So I saw a lot of 60 year old looking men that were bronze basically. <laughs> With um, with uh, with uh, six year old just permanent women who were bronze yeah. as well, and I was like, ah, so is, just, is, this, is Miami just a glorified retirement home? That's why all the buildings are really bright. It's so that you can find the people. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, I did say. But no, said, but Miami was really fun. It was like it was too oh, humid though. Oh, it's, it's ins- like Japan. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, it was basically Japan. Don't weather. talk to me about humidity right now, guys. <laughs> it's basically what you're feeling here is what it was like in Miami. Yeah, it was too much. It was pretty yeah. brutal. Yeah, I was, I just wish I had enough time to like go to the beach or you know even go to the pool or anything. But like I didn't even have enough time to do that. I'm mean, we, we were just tired as well because we've been in LA for like a month. We were in the UK before, so I think yeah. we were just dead. Like yeah. we were just so dead. Yeah, yeah. I was fucked. Well, um, we did get the taste of LA life, guys. How did you sure. find it? Because we actually, I think this. So what we did was you were currently in the LA arc on Trash Taste. Oh yeah. Um, and we, or what we did was we rented out an Airbnb and we used it as a studio, but also <clears throat> it was kind of like our first experience living with each other as well mm, in mm. terms of it's living like with each show. other. Sorry. It's like a Disney show. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a couple of friends just living with each other. <laughs> just filming some videos. <laughs> what will they get up to? <laughs> yeah, we basically just made a trash taste house, you know, yeah. because everyone in LA thought we already lived next to each other or by each other. Mm. Uh, and that wasn't the case in Japan. Fucking we live actually pretty far away from each other. Mm. Like mm. close enough that we can get to the office, but mm. not close enough where we could easily make content with each other. Like everyone else does in LA, it yeah. seems. Oh, yeah. I mean, we just don't live together, so. Yeah, 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 mm. exactly, exactly. Mm. Uh, yeah, and I, I thought it was a fucking, uh, a fucking blast, honestly, living no, with the boys, it, no, right? It was, it was really, really fun, but I feel it was fun because of the time limit that we yeah. had, right? Like yeah. if, if you told me, you know, no offense to you boys, but like this applies, I feel with anybody, yeah, right? That's yeah. not like your significant other or whatever. If you lived for long enough with each other, I feel like you're gonna be fucking sick of each other. Oh, and yeah. I feel that's why a lot of content houses just don't work out in the long run, right? Yeah. Because it's like, it's it's a honeymoon period to begin with, but then the longer you're with together, you're like, yeah, I kind of value my privacy as well. You know, yeah. I, might, I might have my own room, but it's not quite the same. I and the, another thing I noticed as well is that if we did have a trash taste house, like mm. a trash taste content house, I don't think I'd get anything done. No. Because these mm. boys are distractions. Like normally, <laughs> normally- I, I just wake- wanna hang out with them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Normally I go up, I, I wake up, go to my office. I'm like, great, work starting, yeah. you know, catch up to emails or something. This time I go up, 
go to the living room, see Maylin or Jory up, and I'm like, oh, what are you, what are you up to? What are you yeah. up to? What Let's are you just up like to? have breakfast and chat for about three yeah. hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just things just go slower because you're talking to other people. Yeah. yeah. So Definitely. like, whereas my, maybe I get lunch and I eat it in 10 minutes and I go right back to work in yeah. my house. Yeah. Lunch becomes like an hour and a half. Or yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's good though. I, I think because this is the first time I've gone to LA where I went with the like express purpose of trying to make like as much content as possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was really fun because I, I, there was like no days where I wasn't uh, doing hanging something. out with someone or yeah, I wasn't making here. something. Mm -hmm. And so it was really satisfying because I, for, for me, it's like, I I feel like I get my battery recharged through making content. Mm, yeah. I'm fucking addicted to making like YouTube videos or Twitch Extra streams or whatever. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> so like for me, it's like, if I'm not doing that, it's like, oh, I get like, I'm like, oh, I want to make something. Mm, I want to yeah. film, film something. Yeah, so it was like a whole month of just being creative and, and getting to perform and getting to go on stuff. It was just great. You yeah. are you are truly a shining beacon for content creators. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, don't know, I love it. Like, I, I, like, people are like, oh, don't do you get burnt out? I'm like, no, dude, I fucking love this shit. Like this is what I'm addicted to. Like, I don't know why. Like I love being on, I love on fucking shows, I love, I love doing events. Like yeah. it's fun. Yeah. It did constantly like LA did constantly feel like you were filling up a progress bar oh, or yeah, like yeah. something in mm. terms of like content or connections or projects or something. Even if even if we weren't like actively filming something every day, yeah. but even so, I still felt like I was way more distracted in LA than I would normally be at home. Yeah, I feel there were just like too many nights, especially when like most or all of us were just like hanging out for the night, where yeah. I was just like I could be in my room streaming or. Or making content, but I'd rather just go out onto the balcony and just chill with everyone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There'd yeah. be so many times where I'm like, I could just set up a, like we, we had like a bare bones basic stream set up in one of the rooms. And yeah. I was like, I got time to stream, but Joey's out there chilling. Maybe, maybe I'll go chill with Joey <laughs> for a bit. And then I'll just have like a quick five minute chat yeah. and then we'll go stream. And then- the Seven hours later. <laughs> <laughs> and then the five minute chat turns into like half an hour. Then yeah. we've got to get lunch and then, you know, we're meeting someone in like an hour. So I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, I guess I can't stream, you know? Yeah, I yeah. would, I, my, my main channel would be non-existent yeah. if, <laughs> if we had a trash taste house, I feel. Yeah, yeah. I, I can see why there are so many streamer houses now because, yeah. you know, living your life is just fucking content at that point. Pretty much. Uh, and if, you, if I had to like actively go out and make the kind of content I do on my main channel, mm. that just wouldn't fucking happen if we had a trash taste house. Yeah, no. yeah these no. boys are too much fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was just very motivating though. Uh, I yeah, think yeah. I, I got very motivated motivated oh, um, yeah, definitely. to make more stuff and push mm. push it. Uh, I'll shout out to Ludwig, always uh, be inspiration. Mm. Yeah. Oh God, he was so nice. Yeah. I fucking love that guy. Yeah. I yeah. Just, Such a G. I feel like he, he's my long lost American brother. That I, <laughs> I, we've, been, we've been disconnected from that. I, I honestly feel most, if not all the like new f and old faces we met up mm. in LA were just like really, really nice people yeah. Just yeah. in general, you know? And uh, yeah, no, it is true. Like I always get a, a massive kick of inspiration out of like hanging out with someone who perhaps I've never met before, but I know their content or like, you know, s some other content creator I don't get to see or talk mm. to often. And you know, like conventions for me are the same thing as well. Just like, you know, being in a convention setting, which we were a lot this past couple of months, just like, is like, oh yeah, this this is why I do this. Like this, yeah. is, this, is, this is just motivating me to like do better for these people, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, so it was good. I, I mean, you know, I may not have been necessarily motivated while we were in LA or while we were traveling, <laughs> but after I came back to Japan, I had like fucking list of ideas. So, you know, that's, exactly. that's always good. No, same, I feel like it's important for every content creator to get their content battery recharged. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the best way to do that is just to hang out with other people, mm. hang, hang out with other like creative people because yep. so many ideas get thrown around and you're like, damn, all right, I can actually do this. All mm. right, I've got so many ideas now. Whereas if you're just sitting in a room, just constantly pumping out content, mm. it kind of like you just get into a grind and you get into like- It gets a, monotonous. Yeah, yeah, it does get monotonous yeah. a lot of times. And you yeah. forget why you started doing this in the first place. Mm. And one thing I will say about hanging out with so many people in LA, so many other content creators, is that it definitely gets those creative juices flowing again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, especially seeing some of the, like seeing the, what motivates me the most is seeing other people do something exciting. Yeah. Cause then right. I'm like, damn, I want to do something exciting. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, looks yeah. fucking incredible. Exactly, uh, you exactly. Know? And LA is just like the central hub of that. Mm, mm. Um, but yeah, aside from that, there were, <laughs> it was, I mean, did you guys enjoy your experience in LA overall? Oh yeah, I fucking loved it. Yeah, Me I, personally. Yeah, yeah I, I enjoyed LA, I think because of the people I got to see. Mm, you yeah. know, if I if I didn't get to see anyone and I was just living in LA, mm. you know, without ever interacting with other content creators, personally, 
no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just because like, I don't think the LA lifestyle necessarily meshes with me. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I fucking hate the lifestyle, but yeah. when yeah. I was there, I had like an amazing time. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and also, I mean, I, I hate, hate to admit it, there's some amazing food there. Oh no, that food's great. Oh, great that, food. that was some amazing, amazing God, food. God, I, I must mm. have ordered the Porto's Cubano sandwich like a million fucking times. That, that shit went up. hard. Porto's shit was in good. California is yeah. nutty. Yeah. 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 Also yeah. Joe and the Juice. Dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, so, so we have Joe and the Juice in the UK, right? Do we? We do. Okay. And there's one in Australia as well. Oh, is so there? It's this coffee fucking chain. And like, I don't really care for their coffee, but in, in, the, in the one in America, they sold like this sandwich that's like a spicy tuna <sighs> sandwich and it was so goddamn good. God, Me and I Joey must've eaten it like five times. I, I think I ate it like 10 times. It I, was I so was, goddamn good. I froth the mouth every time I think oh, about that sandwich. I can't wait to go back. I know. I just, I want to go back and, just for that. And me and Joey, we had had one in LA. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, you have to try this tuna sandwich. Yeah. I know yeah. you, I know you're going to love it. So he tries it he's like, this is insane. Yeah. yeah. We pull up to our hotel in, in Miami. Miami. At the bottom of the hotel is a Joe in the Juice. Yeah, literally like, the next thing over from the hotel was a Joe in the Juice. Like, I, it's fate. We're like fist bump, we're like, nice. <laughs> so every morning we would just wake up and be like, coffee and tuna, spicy tuna sandwich. I got you. So good. Yeah. So, so good. fucking good.